Good morning. Today we're celebrating with Christy of Christy's Beautiful Life. 10 years of being on YouTube and making scrapbook videos. And so I am going to um, do a scrapbook page and several of us are and and then there'll be a link down below so that um, it's it'll be like a hop so you can just go down there and see everybody else's creations that are joining in on the celebration hello so today I am using that willow and sage bow from Bow Bunny that I picked up at Tuesday morning and I am going to be um, using two, um, one very beautiful pa paper out of here and it's this one that's got the little gold thing running through it it's got the floral it's got looks like um, blackberries or blueberry not blueberries like black raspberries or whatever they call those and some little things there some leaves I think it's so pretty and then there's even a little decoration up here at the corner and I just think it's so gorgeous and I'm gonna be matting it on this um, I don't have a whole lot of embellishments that I want to put on the page because this is so decorative so I'm just gonna start out with just taping it down to the center oh, do I have my favorite scissors here for poking holes because I do have brads that I'm going to use okay and I have these pictures of my oldest granddaughter She's now 16, but I think she was probably maybe two in here, or maybe not quite two, maybe one and a half. She was walking, but still kind of wobbly yet, so probably like two and a half. And this was in the spring, but it was still kind of chilly that day. And she actually has on a little stocking cap underneath this, but it was so sunny, I put this hat on her. <laughs> And you can see it's it's chilly enough out there. She's got a little watering of the eyes. And this is another page I'm using, or another paper. I guess I'm not showing it to you any bigger. But it's another paper from the collection. And I'm going to mat these pictures on it. And I've already got them on white. And you know, I'm just kind of eyeballing them. I think this paper is so pretty. And I just kind of want to use something with a big flower that would match her hat. And it's so funny because um, my friend, um, her granddaughter was going to be in some kind of um, pageant. And um, she had to have pictures done, and I took her pictures. And this hat we used on her. Um, so it's like, and then I've t I took, I think two of her granddaughters I've taken pictures of in this hat. So it's like this hat is like um, just something that, <laughs> like I'm always taking pictures of the kids in it. Okay, and I'm going to kind of, I don't want to cover up all this gold thing, so I'm just trying to arrange her to where she fits well on the page. Um, I want one of the pictures to be straight and the other one to be tilted. And can I see my invisible ruler? I can. I'm just amazed at how, how much easier it is to find now that I've called it invisible. Because now I know I'm looking for something clear. <laughs> about right here and then I'll tilt this one a little so it kind of goes to the way of kind of the circle so that's why I thought the tilting would work well and 
Maybe just kind of, don't want to tuck this one under. Oh, and you know what? I got them totally the opposite of the way that I want them. <laughs> I want this one on the bottom. Yeah, meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> okay, so think about right there. And then, you know, I might totally switch it up and, you know, put new pictures on. <laughs> I'm not going to change it again. Okay. I think that's good. Okay. And then I am going to call it sunshine because it was so sunny out. And I don't, I still don't know where I want the title. So maybe I have to do the rest of it first. <clears throat> well, I know that I'm going to put this big butterfly. And these are from the Dollar Tree or the store formerly known as the Dollar Tree now. Is it the Dollar 25 tree? I don't know. And so I'm going to put this um, here. I don't want to cover up this gold. And I don't want to cover up the whole flower. But I'm going to add a few brads. So I do want to save a little room for that. And I know I don't have my favorite scissors out here for poking with. So I think I'll just use this. And I've got this purple brad. I thought that would be cute to kind of bring out that. And then I've got a brass brad, so it kind of pulls out this golden color. So I am going to put them here someplace. Oh, I think I'm going to put it over here. I didn't want to make anything too, you know, too much width of anything because I do want the... I do want all the flowers to show. Am I still on camera? Barely. Oh, it's really bent. I need my needle nose. Okay, I think I can get it on there fine anyway. Okay. And then I've got this little brass one. Where do I want it? Okay, because I usually kind of like them kind of close together when I'm using brads. Okay. I think these butterflies are so pretty. And oh and, and I really have to say I love their dimensional tape because it really um, didn't stick to my scissors as much as that 3M that I used previously. Okay, I like that there. Okay, and then I've got this little one, and I'm going to put it on one of these. And then I've got a couple more little brads. This is going to be the brad embellishment <laughs> page in her book. Where do I want these? Do I want to buy that little butterfly or down here? I feel like it needs to be by the butterfly. Um, are you guys telling me where it should be? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that one and put them more over here. Decisions, decisions. Okay, I'm putting the butterfly here. I'm going to put it on this one. And then I think I'm going to put one brad right here and one here. That is a question. Hmm, I have to think about it for a minute. Well, 30 seconds anyway. I think... I don't know. I just don't know. I want to put it somewhere else altogether. <laughs> I really had my mind up that it was just going to be over here. No, I don't know. 
Okay, I think I'm still going to put it here. Okay, so now my pokey tool. And I definitely don't want to cover up that little plant, so I'm going to stick it right here. I had these um, pictures laying there for the longest time, and I have like a whole group of pictures, but these two look like they belong together. And I still had this pad of paper sitting there because I hadn't put it away since, um, well, since I got it, you know, busy with those um, 30 sketches. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stick this other one close to the, a little closer to the picture. Okay, yeah, I like that. Okay, now I've kind of considered putting it here or here or even up in here. Mm, I might have to stand up and look at it because now I'm, I'm really thinking down here. Now I wish you guys, could, I could hear you guys because I know you're just saying, that's the place, that's the place. I think it needs to go here because then I can put this here and the other little brads here. I think so. <laughs> I just have to move it one more time. No, I think this is it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the butterfly down first. Because I've got my butterfly visual triangle. I am committed to that. <laughs> and let's see if I put this bread here and this one here. Maybe that way. Now, if you guys have a really busy pattern like this that you're trying not to co cover up, and the and you don't have too many embellishments that you can, you know, that wouldn't totally cover up something, what do you guys use? Do you use buttons, brads? Um, just go with, I mean, I considered just going with the butterflies and being done with it, but I do like a, I do like a brad, and I like that they're simple. I like it that they're round. I'm kind of into round shapes. Obviously, um, since, since, since I talked about the clocks, the buttons, I mean the clocks and the compasses and the keys, I guess keys aren't round. But I'm really into those, into like round shapes. I love um, flare. I considered flare, but they just look too big because I think it was just trying to cover. I didn't want to cover up that much. And I have a temperamental bread. Okay, there we go. Okay. I usually like to have my needle nose over here and I don't have it over here today. Okay. So now just the title. Do I want to tuck it in? I think it needs to be completely right in the center. Okay, so I'm going to do that.
I had some um, gold string too, but um, it just wasn't as pretty as this looks. So I thought it just took away from the look of that. Boy, I knocked that eye over, and then I just knocked the little dot over. And these little square dots, it's like, do you tilt it, put it straight, or what? I don't know what to do about that either. Oh, totally threw there. That off. Okay. Okay. I do like my um, flat little tweezers that I bought at the grocery store for more than what it said on the sign. <laughs> but I really like them, so I'm not taking them back. But they were like twice the price that it said on the sign. It said like $1.99 and it was like $3.99. Okay. Okay, so I'll have to figure out what the date is on these. But I'm thinking she was probably two. But I'm glad I got those pictures done. And um, there will be close-ups at the end. Oh, remember to check out the other people in the list down below. Thanks for watching.